So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a metal deck system that's been around about 10 years. It's called the Punch Lock System, and currently it's actually Punch Lock 2, which is the second iteration of this. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll tell you what is Punch Lock, why you would wanna use it, and how much extra does Punch Lock cost? So I'm Paul Rubio, and welcome to the Metal Deck Learning Channel. If you have a job that has metal decking and you need it quickly, MetalDeck.com has you covered. We have a large inventory of roof and floor deck in multiple sizes and gauges, with facilities located in Southern California, Phoenix, Arizona, and Texas. You can get same day or next day delivery or pickup. Decking today, no delay at MetalDeck.com. So what is Punch Lock 2? Well, Punch Lock 2 is a patented system that can be only used on Verco or Volcraft decking. And when you look at the metal decking, this is a piece of B deck, it's not any, it doesn't look any different. Symmetrically, it's the same. Now, if it's Punch Lock, there'll probably be a sticker on top of the bundle that notates that it's Punch Lock. But other than that, the metal decking itself isn't any difference. The difference is in the way that the side lap attachment is connected. So this is a typical male female side lap like you'd see on just about any metal deck. And when you use this tool here, this here is called a punch lock tool. It's, it's a heavy 50 pound tool that, that is powered by an air compressor. When you use this tool to attach the side lap, what it does is it increases the engineering values of the panel. With the Punch Lock 2 system, you actually have a metal deck panel that has the highest diaphragm shear values. It requires less welding, and it allows you to, in most cases, reduce the thickness of the steel gauge that you, that you use. It's really the evolution of metal decking that eliminated the need for top seam welding. Why would you use Punch Lock 2 metal decking? Well, two reasons, labor cost savings and material cost savings. In relation to labor cost savings, you don't have to top seam weld the material anymore. So in the past with top seam welding, the first step you'd have to do is take the button out of the button punch tool and crimp the side lap together. And then you'd have to have a certified welder actually top seam all the material. A very labor intensive, very expensive. With a punch lock tool, you can take an untrained laborer and simply pull a trigger. So I would say that you could punch lock a job probably five times faster than you could top seam a weld and at a much lower overall labor cost rate. Now there is actually a third reason to use a punch lock versus a button punch and that is the consistency of the punches. With a button punch there's no consistency. You might get blowouts, you could even have some punches that fail inspection although that would be rare. Uh, a minor advantage of this punch lock tool is every time you pull the trigger it's going to be the same and these these connections will pass inspection every single time. The main reason to use a punch lock 2 system is because of the greater diaphragm values and the advantage of the greater diaphragm values means quite often you can use a lesser gauge material to achieve the same results. Now every job needs to be engineered to make sure that that, that the building won't fail but it would not be unreasonable that a job in the past that would require 20 gauge can now be used in a 22 gauge metal decking. And that's about a 20% cost savings ballpark. It also might be possible to go from what would be in the past from an 18 gauge to a 20 gauge. So you're talking about very significant cost savings on a large job by switching over to the punch lock system. Another question we get asked about punch lock is, does it cost more than normal metal deck? And on a material only basis, punch lock costs about 2% more than normal metal decking. However, when you look at the overall cost savings, you're able to use a lesser gauge, so you're saving about 20% there and you have a lot less labor. So you achieve a lot of savings by using a punch lock 2 system versus a non-punch lock system. How do you know if your job is a punch lock 2 job? Well, the good news is the engineer will determine this. So as somebody that's installing this or bidding this, what you need to do is you need to look in these structural drawings. And if you see the letters PL in front of the type of metal decking that's gonna be used, it's very, that means that it's punch lock. So for example, this is a B deck. If it was simply B36 on the plans or HSB36, that's non-punch lock. If you've seen the term PLB36, then you know that you have a punch lock job. The other place that you'll see it is if you're looking at the 
seam connection. If you see the terminology VSC2, that stands for Verco Side Lap Connection, and that is also another way that you'll know that it's a punch lock job. Uses of punch lock two. Punch lock is normally used on metal roof deck applications. Again, the reason you're using punch lock is because of the greater diaphragm shear values and the ability to use a lesser gauge material. So can you use punch lock two on a floor deck? Absolutely, it's not gonna hurt your job to use this type of side lap connection versus button punch. However, there's no real benefit. A floor deck system is, a floor deck system is gonna have concrete on it and the you're just not going to gain enough shear value to use a lesser gauge material and there's also not going to be any top seam welding on a floor deck job. So yes you can do it but it's not going to, there's no real reason to do it. The other question we get asked is can you use punch lock on a canopy and that would not be a good idea and the reason is you know you want as much weather tightness as possible on a canopy and the minute that you punch lock the material, what you're doing is you're really putting holes in the side lap and it's going to leak like a sieve. So in a canopy application, we would not recommend using a punch lock system. So you're a contractor and you have a punch lock job that you will be installing and you're probably wondering, if I can't purchase one of these tools, how do I get one? What you'll have to do is you'll have to get a loaner tool and that loaner tool will be available in three places either from Verco or Volcraft, providing that you buy the material from them, or possibly from your metal decking distributor. In many instances, if you're purchasing from a metal decking distributor that works primarily with Verco or Volcraft, they can coordinate getting the tool for you. But that is something you definitely want to ask your distributor ahead of time. Now, there is no way that a distributor would give you a punch lock tool if you bought the decking elsewhere. So that's the other thing you got to keep in mind. One final note about a punch lock 2-2 system is the lack of availability of the tools. Both the manufacturer and the metal, dis metal decking distributors really do not have a lot of these tools. So what they do is they go out on a combination of first come first serve and size of the job. A little, they they kind of look at both factors. If you have a larger job, you're not going to have a problem getting a punch lock two tool. However, if you have a smaller job, you know, the, the distributor, the manufacturer, they have to prioritize these and they're just not going to give you a tool or they'll give you a tool but it'll really delay your job. You know, you might be 10th or 20th in line. So at about the point that it does not make sense to do punch lock two would be at about, if you're buying from the mill quite a bit more, but if you're buying from a distributor at about 20 squares or 2,000 square feet is when it makes sense to actually go the opposite way and try to get the deck specified as non-punch lock versus punch lock. All right, so we have an entire article that talks about what to do if you have a small punch lock job. So if you have any questions, just check the link in the description. <laughs>